If you're like me, you probably outgrew going to house parties, clubs, wasting money, spending money on things that don't serve you. And at the moment that you realize that, you probably also realize that the friends you had were attached to that lifestyle. Or maybe you've been a loner the majority of your life and never understood why. This is what separates you and I from the rest. Now, I'm not saying that having a social circle is going to prohibit you from growing, but what I'm trying to say is there's a reason you feel alone right now. I believe that people like us are leaders. We don't follow the crowd. We don't do things because everyone else is doing it. We cherish genuine connection and conversation. We don't like surface level things. We like to dig deep under the surface. We find value in the present moment and value in where our time goes. And the unfortunate truth, there's not many people like us. Or maybe that is a fortunate truth. How can we use this to our advantage? Have you ever thought to yourself, maybe there's a reason I don't have many friends or a very small social circle? Maybe it's because you are meant for a greater purpose. And this purpose you need to fulfill. Maybe this is a point in your life where you need to level up. And social distractions have been taken away so you can understand what your purpose is or how you can improve yourself to finally shift into that new version of you. There is this quote by Albert Einstein that goes, Be a loner that gives you time to wonder, to search for the truth. Have holy curiosity. Make your time worth living. When you are in solitude, you begin to notice things about yourself that you wouldn't have around distraction. You become more aware. Things you like to do, things you don't enjoy doing. Maybe there's something that you've always wanted to try. And maybe you just dread loneliness because you feel like there's nothing to do. But there is so much to do and so much to discover. What separates you from the rest? You don't have people to distract you from reaching your goals. According to a study published by The Guardian, loneliness, or what many attribute to a quarter-life crisis, is a necessary process through adulthood that serves as a catalyst for change. My friend, you aren't missing out on parties or hanging out with a bunch of people and wasting your energy on conversation and things that don't even matter to you. That's some good stuff. This message was brought to you by coffee. If you can embrace yourself as you are and dig deep into what makes you feel good, what makes you feel alive, then eventually you will attract the right people into your life. While people are busy being distracted and trying to maintain an image for themselves, you are here working on yourself. So where do you go from here? Everyone's journey is different and there are some things that you need to figure out. There are some questions that you need to answer. When I decided that there was more to my life than working a nine to five, hanging out, wasting money, and don't get me wrong, those were good times. But something eventually clicked in my head. I was 27 and finishing up college with the goal to move out of my mom's house. Since I was going to college full time, my bank account was a ghost town. <laughs> like you could literally hear my checkings account. I knew that in order to become independent, I needed to start putting my priorities together. I began to read books. And when I wasn't reading, I was on YouTube, listening to audiobooks, podcasts, things that captured my interest. I would digest content on finance, real estate, investments, meditation, art, health, fitness. I logged almost daily in my journal. January 24th, which was, what, two days ago? Yep, two days ago. I wrote in my journal. Logging in your journal is like free therapy with yourself and I highly recommend it. Writing down my thoughts on paper allowed me to pay attention to my inner feelings, which can be a little scary. And if I wanted to, I would reflect in time travel to a month ago to see what I have written in my journal and also to see how far I've come. It's actually a pretty cool method and I highly recommend that. You can literally time travel with who you were a year ago versus who you are now. The moment that you realize there are so many layers to you and that the journey to self-discovery never quite ends, things begin to shift. You become a priority. Your peace, your happiness, your growth. 
reality begins to feel like a trip literally like a trip like a trip as in dude i'm tripping out right now i'm tripping out right now the more awareness i brought into my life the more signs and symbolisms i saw the more coincidences happened and i put quotation marks on coincidence because i wouldn't describe it as a coincidence more like magical confirmation for example i could have a conversation with someone about something very significant to me and that one thing will pop up the next day it's like the universe was playing with my mind and it was clear that because i was more aware symbolisms that were once subtle became obvious let me put it this way before i started my journey to self-discovery i was the passenger in the car and there was people in this car and they distracted me from the beauty outside of the car's window now that i have brought awareness into my life i am driving the car and not only am i taking control but i'm also paying attention to the beautiful landscapes outside of my car's window and not only that but now there are signs leading me in the right direction was that a good metaphor or analogy was that a good analogy i don't know how else to put it don't let your my eyes twitching don't let your solitude scare you or discourage you take this time to figure out what it is that you want to do where do you want to go write down your goals start journaling practice meditating even if it's for 10 minutes a day it's not boring it's actually the opposite of boring usually the rebuttal i get when i tell somebody to meditate is that's too hard i can't sit with myself for 10 minutes let alone 30 minutes uh, I have a short attention span. <laughs> Let me make something clear to you. Those people who lack the discipline to sit alone with themselves, even if it was for 10 minutes a day, they are what I would like to call the others. That's actually a horror movie. I can't think of another term to call them. We are aware. They are unaware. We are meditating they are scrolling we are reading on a saturday night they are taking selfies at a bar somewhere downtown nothing wrong with that just to put things into perspective we are present they are dwelling in the future or past we are calm they are anxious and have no idea why you guys understand this isn't to take shots at anyone by the way if i have done that it's to put things into perspective what awareness brings when you become fully aware in your day-to-day -day life things change the moment you are here you realize life is precious and we all don't have that much time hospital where TB, you know, killed him back then. And that's a picture of her while she was there. Oh. Wow. And this one, of course. Who's that? That's my mother. So why waste it on things or people that don't give us value? The journey to self-discovery is not an easy road. And most times when people think that they can embark on this journey and they begin, it gets a little intimidating because it's like, now I'm here alone. Now I have my thoughts taking over. Now this is boring. Now I don't know what to do. Let me call a friend. Let me distract myself. Let me turn the TV on. Let me just go to work and come back and go out. Let me spend my time with people that don't give me value. Let me spend my time listening to drama and being a part of drama. But if you are here watching this video and this is something that you would like to do for yourself, I encourage you to start. There's going to be days where you're like, 
This is too much. Let me just go back to my old habits, my old ways. You'll have instances like that. I had instances like that. That is what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. Dedication, consistency, learning about yourself. Believe it or not, not many people know about themselves. Not many people take the time to separate themselves from the rest. Not many people take the time to go on a walk in silence. It's not easy. It's not easy. But it is worth it. Man, that coffee's good. That's my second cup today. I better take it easy. There's actually a video on my channel about the benefits of coffee and how it can affect your creativity. It's my recent upload if you would like to check that out. If you guys have made it this far into the video, you're awesome. And I hope you got a valuable message today. I hope you can take something away from this. If you have started on your journey, if you are deep into your journey, if you haven't started your journey, comment below, we can talk and let me encourage you. If you guys would like to support me, please subscribe and like, and I will catch you guys in the next video.